Now a live look down the shore tonight. This is Atlantic City from SkyCam 3. A drier and chillier day today, but rain will be coming back this week. Meteorologist Andrew Kozak is back now with your full next weather forecast. As we talked about earlier, we may need to bring the umbrellas out, yeah. bring your thicker jackets out for a little bit as well. And you'll have a chance to shed some of that. Mm -hmm. In fact, both of those things throughout <laughs> the week. Just, just have everything in your car ready to go because the changes are happening pretty rapidly. Let's walk over to the wall, show you what's happening out there right now. We are taking a look at the boardwalk, the Jersey Shore, and yeah, it's a little bit on the quiet side, as it probably should be, as we are just a few minutes to midnight right now. We are beginning your Monday quite literally here in just a few minutes. Very dry, cold though. We do have a light north wind. It'll be coming down overnight. Now, Monday's great, but Tuesday we're going to be looking at the rain coming back in. Could be heavy at times into the afternoon. There will be a midweek warm up. Even with the temperatures warming up, we're probably not going to see much sunshine past Monday, and we're back into the colder air as we head into the late part of the week. All right, so Storm Scan 3, obviously clear skies out there right now. High pressure in control, firmly just to our south. We're looking at cold air filtering in and staying in place for at least the next few hours. But guess what? We're going to start to see a little bit of a southerly component to the wind by Monday afternoon. So as cold as it is right now, and it's pretty cold, Mount Pocono 24, 28 Atlantic City, Georgetown 31, we're going to warm up pretty nicely as we head into your Monday. So we start things off in the morning with temperatures in the middle to upper 20s. At least we'll have the sun, sunglasses on, sun visors down, as I say. And then we get into the afternoon. We'll be about 46 by noon. Your high temperature approaching 50 by Monday afternoon. Now we will see a few more clouds by Monday evening with those south winds. That's going to be ahead of our system. So your future cast into your Tuesday showing a few morning showers. We're fine with that. But look what happens by the afternoon. Yeah, there's a lot of moisture to grab here. So this next system for Tuesday into Tuesday night actually gives us some heavy rain. Now there's Wednesday morning. Now we're starting to see most of that move off, but the clouds and the grunge and all of that kind of stick around for most of Wednesday. By Thursday morning, the clouds are still in place, but we're rather dry. And then by Friday, another system comes in. This one's going to grab some colder air, and it is possible that late Friday into next Saturday, parts of the area could even see a little bit of a wintry mix, but shh, we're not talking about it just yet. Lots of factors here. Things can change. Let's talk about the week in hand. Monday dry. Tuesday is the wettest day. Nuisance showers stay with us as we head into your Wednesday, Thursday, and even the first part of Friday. 26 tonight. Then from that, we warm right back up to 50 degrees on Monday. We'll see some late clouds, morning sun. Here's your seven day forecast. Tuesday, 56. Wednesday, 59 degrees. Yeah, so despite a couple of scattered showers and clouds, we're going to be near 60. Then the colder air starts to arrive as we head into the weekend. A little bit of a question mark on Friday and Saturday right now, but overall, what we will see are cooler than average temperatures by a bit. 60s, or at least close to 60 by Wednesday, so up and down, and a chance for rain after Tuesday of this week. Aziza? All right, thank you, Andrew.